And then all of a sudden, the cyclone came, uh -huh. and uh, that was awful. I just, I don't think there's any words that can describe how that wind, oh, that wind, that roar. I think I'll always remember the roar more than anything else. That was a long time before it struck uh -huh. that we heard that roar. We didn't know what it was. roaring and everything you know and branches I suppose hitting the building or something and so we come upstairs and look around and about that time somebody rapped at the side door and uh, he come in and he says you won't believe it but he said the Grand Hotel is flat as a pancake and he says there's people in there. One person was so great they couldn't open the door at all so they stood in the corner they huddled in the corner and the storm hit and um, the house disappeared all around them. There are pictures uh, showing that house uh, straight uh, cut off at the foundation. My sister Janelle was, was uh, stripped out of the arms of my dad and disappeared. We lived, lived directly east of the courthouse on Junior Avenue, and the tornado came just about from the courthouse and straight down to our house because we had everything, records, money, and everything that was in the courthouse offices plastered on our house. It was about uh, four inches thick of, of ground up paper and uh, twigs and leaves and on the outside of the house. We knew a storm was coming. We could hear that. We could hear a constant roar coming from the northwest. To me, it sounded like the afternoon train was pulling in there that used to come in. I, I couldn't tell you how long it lasted. It sounded, it seemed to be an eternity, but probably it was over 15, 20 minutes at the, at the height of the storm. And then it got so black when the storm came up, it, the clouds had got just as black as night. It was just as dark. You couldn't see a thing. We were sitting on the cellar steps, and as we sat there, we could see the house kind of moving a wee bit. And the water ran down so much that we thought we kept moving up step by step. We thought we were going to drown in that fruit cellar. Uh, my uh, father and uh, sister tried to close the front door and they couldn't get the front door shut. It was wide open. It, it was a suction, you yeah. see. And maybe that's what saved our house. Uh -huh. I don't know and we'll never know. <laughs> 